Hey everyone, I'm David and over the past six months, I've been doing YouTube videos to try to explain how my Shopify stores have done over $230 million. People are still buying courses. You don't need to do that. To make sure there's no confusion, over the next two and a half months, I'm gonna be posting YouTube videos to show you every step of the way. We're gonna launch a product together. We're gonna to try to take it to a million dollars in sales. I'm gonna hold nothing back and give you all the secrets that I would use to launch either a dropshipping store or a respectable brand. I'll also be bringing some of my colleagues and consultants that I use that specialize in certain subjects. While I understand how to speak their language, these people will be better than me at email marketing, Facebook marketing, SMS marketing, they are the experts and I wanna give you absolutely everything you need to succeed. We're gonna cover a load of topics. First, we're gonna find a product. Then, we're gonna launch a Shopify store. Third, we're gonna talk about how you can create a brand out of that product. We're gonna do product photography, videography, copywriting. I'm even gonna show you how to set up the customer service for your brand. We'll then go into retention tactics using email and SMS. We'll launch the Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Pinterest ads, any platform where there's value. I'll also cover the importance of organic traffic, something that's often overlooked by e-commerce brands nowadays. We can cover how to get your products licensed just as we've done at the UDI with Warner Brothers and Disney. We're also gonna cover one of the most important topics in hiring, how to get good people involved in your business so that it can grow to be bigger than yourself. Finally, although boring, we're gonna talk about supply chain management and how important that actually is in building a brand. Before I go any further, please make sure you subscribe. A ton of people are watching the videos, but we just need you to subscribe so we can stay in touch. For the first time ever in YouTube history, we're just posting a full course just on YouTube, free to consume, so everyone can learn every tactic you need to get success. In today's episode, we're just gonna go through a basic overview of everything you need to know. In future episodes, I'm gonna share my screen and walk you through every step of the way. We're gonna do it together. You need to treat this as an introduction episode, get your pen and paper, write things down, write some ideas down, Let's get into it. So let's first get into our disclaimers for today. The first disclaimer is that e-commerce, you need to be patient. We're basically building a million dollar brand. If I was to tell you there's a 10% chance that you could win a million dollars, how many times would you attempt to do that thing? This is basically what we're doing with dropshipping. We're working hard to try to find a million dollar brand. When you understand the risk reward of that, you'll put a lot more effort into your learning and won't be scared of failure. You need to invest small. You can't invest everything unless you're willing to lose it. Over time, you'll learn more about e-commerce and then you can invest more having the confidence that you are in control of the situation. If you have a family to feed, don't invest all your money into business unless you know exactly what you're doing and have a large amount of control on the inputs and the outputs. This is the beauty of dropshipping. We only need $500 to $1,000 to get started. Basically, all you're paying for is a couple of subscriptions and you're gonna buy some ads. You can start very slow and scale up. This is why it's just a great introduction to get into business. Another disclaimer, I've never drop shipped before. All of my brands I've set up properly from the get-go using a 3PL and a well-branded experience. But that's not to say that it's a bad method. I'm gonna do my first ever drop shipping with you today and I'm gonna show you how that drop shipping store can be a quarter of a million dollar brand just like ours. One other disclaimer, I'm gonna mention a lot of tools in these videos. I promise that there is not one tool that I will recommend that I do not use personally in my own businesses. These tools are designed to make your life easier and produce profit. So let's go into the things that you'll need to invest in. First is a domain name. These can be very, very cheap, $9 to $29 a year. You're gonna need a Shopify store as well. The basic plan is just $29 a month. I recommend Shopify because it's the easiest to get set up. You don't wanna spend ages setting up your website when you don't even know your product or your ads are going to work. Another upfront cost is inventory. Because we're gonna be launching a drop shipping brand, the inventory costs are gonna be very minimal upfront. But if you're looking to launch an actual brand using a 3PL, you're going to have to commit to a larger amount of inventory and import it to your country. Another expense that you're gonna have if you don't outsource is going to be your website and your graphic design, such as your packaging design. Unless you do it yourself with your iPhone, you're also gonna to have to invest in product imagery and videography. But I'm gonna take you through how you can just do it with your iPhone. Another cost that a lot of people don't think about is business registration in your country. If you're in Australia, you're gonna to have to register a business and get an AVN. Probably the main cost that people really need to understand how to control is their ad spend. Everything up until you launch your ads can basically be controlled to a high degree, like a monthly subscription. Ad spends can be quite variable. 
You don't wanna let it blow out. You wanna really control it at like $10 a day until you understand if your product is profitable. With all of these things combined, that's why I like to recommend that you have at least $500 to $1,000 of disposable income before you get started. So you understand the investment now. Let's go over the skills that you'll need to learn to be a good digital marketer. The best thing about learning these skills is they open up a world of opportunity. Even if your business fails, if you learn how to be a good copywriter, you can go to any business and start doing copywriting for them. If you learn how to do Facebook ads, you're basically learning how to create so much value in these businesses. So you're always going to have these skills to move on. So even if your business fails, don't be afraid to just constantly keep learning. It will serve you really well going forward. All of these skills that I'm about to recommend, you can learn on YouTube. I'm gonna teach you, but I'm not the only one on YouTube. There are experts out there giving amazing information based on their real world experience. Don't go buy a course, just go watch these free YouTube videos. It's all you'll need. First, a definition. Digital marketing is often used in lots of different areas. It's a very broad category. When I talk about digital marketing, I generally mean social media marketing, such as paid platforms or organic traffic. A great way to just learn the basics around digital marketing is the Google Fundamentals course. Yes, it is free. One of the most underrated skills in e-commerce is copywriting. It's a little bit boring compared to graphic design and ads, in my opinion. Good copywriting, like imagery, can make or break your website. You're basically using words to craft emotion in your customer. People buy it based on their emotion. You also need to educate people in your product so they understand that it is the right product for them. So, a couple of books that I recommend for copywriting. Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz is a great one. The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini is also amazing. You can also join Facebook copywriting groups that are all around e-commerce. People share ideas and their recent case studies that work so well for them. Another great way to learn about ad copy is just going onto an ads library of a competing brand, studying what they're writing a lot. If you're feeling really lazy, you can also use a copy service that uses AI. I'll put a link in the description. The other skill you need to learn is actually really confronting. It's videography. People look at videography and they see so much complexity and think I could never do that. That is far from the truth. When I first started doing videography, I'd film video ads for free for random companies just trying to understand the skill. My first videos were terrible, but that's okay because you just keep learning. You start seeing things differently. You can start expressing creativity in different ways. Even if you're not a creative person, e-commerce videography is very formulaic. It's basically, you're just showing the product's features and you're doing the same format every single time. It's really simple. The best thing about it now is that you don't even need a video camera. You can just use your iPhone. The reason why I do recommend learning videography is it's so expensive to get a proper videographer in. That $500 to $1,000 budget could be eaten up for just one Facebook ad, which just isn't sustainable. If you can learn content, you can de-risk the process that we're about to embark on. One of the best videographers on YouTube is Peter McKinnon. I learned so much from him. I also learned so much just watching Sam Calder's travel videos. They inspired me to get into videography and it's still one of my favorite passions. The first step if you're using an iPhone is just studying a lot of other ads that are out there. Understanding how long each clip goes for, how quick is the transition, what copy overlays do they use, making sure that you have the right lighting, all of these kind of small tips will make you into a professional videographer really quickly for e-commerce. If you're serious about getting into videography and you want to use a proper camera, it is great fun, but it will take a little bit of an investment to get that camera and a lot more learning to understand the settings. Once you have this though, it's a skill you have for the rest of your life that is very valuable. The other skill that obviously plays into videography as well is photography. You can't have a good e-commerce store without beautiful pictures of your product. It creates trust. It makes people understand what the product's gonna look like in their own home. Think about how often that you've turned down a product online because you're just not quite sure how it looks like. The website just doesn't do it justice. If you've got a small product, your iPhone is gonna be more than good enough. We're just gonna buy a light box, we're gonna put it in there, we're gonna take a photo and do a really simple editing and get it on the website. These light boxes are small investments. They're not 100% necessary. We can also just get a white sheet and put it next to a window to make sure that we have diffused lighting. So after you've done all of those skills, the next step, is website development. This will require basic graphic design skills. When I started learning graphic design, I just downloaded Photoshop and I just started watching YouTube videos. I first learned how to design a logo, then I learned how to design a label. It was just slow progressions. It also went really hand in glove. Is that the expression? <laughs> 
Hand in glove? I always said hand in glove before. I was like, that's not it. And then I was just like committed to it. I think it is hand in glove. Use it if it's in there. The reason why I say it's great to learn just basic graphic design is because then you can start doing web design. Shopify is just a drag and drop editor. If you understand how to edit photos, take the photos, you can drag them onto your website and make it look great. Then once you've got your site, you need to learn how to do paid traffic. I know this is sounding like a lot of work, but let's remember, we're trying to build a million dollar store that will change your life. So you need to learn all of these skills or at least understand how to manage them. Paid traffic is the best form of advertising at the moment because you're working alongside these platforms. If you're just doing organic social, such as like posting every day, using hashtags, looking at the followers, it's just not gonna grow your business as quick as actually paying these platforms for impressions. The main platform that people start on, especially with drop shipping or building brands, is Facebook advertising. In my opinion, it is the most powerful. It's got the most data and it's probably the easiest to use. If you're really struggling with Facebook advertising, maybe it's just your personality, you're more of a creative person rather than a technical person, maybe you can do influencer marketing. But again, it's not very scalable and controllable. It's hard to measure. So that's why I always recommend starting with Facebook with your product. Another thing that we really need to touch on is logistics. With luck, your business is gonna be a huge success. You're gonna scale into international markets. You're going to be serving thousands of customers on a weekly basis. With that growing complexity means that you need to understand operations. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is you're gonna let your customers down. That's going to give you negative reviews. That's going to bring your platform feedback scores down, which is gonna make your advertising more expensive and your brand is gonna go to zero. One of the main things with supply chain management is how you communicate with your suppliers. Being very clear with product specifications, the lead time that they're going to produce for your customer, the shipping lines they use, all of those kind of things, getting very clear, getting it in writing to make sure that your customer doesn't suffer. Then to measure your success around your operations, supply chain, you need to start measuring things like delivery time, your customer reviews on your platform. The best thing about e-commerce is you will be starting slow. You'll just have a couple of orders here and there, which isn't very complex. You can sort them out as they come. But as things grow, you really need to be learning from your mistake. You need to be systemizing processes to make sure that when you're at scale, there's solutions for all of those problems. One of the best books, which is quite challenging to read, especially if you're new, is High Output Management by Andy Groves. That is one of the best management and operations book I've ever read. When it comes to operations, the main thing is really understanding your costs, understanding your 3PL costs or your delivery costs, and then holding your providers accountable for those costs, doing monthly checks with your finance team to make sure that you're not getting overcharged on a weekly basis. A good knowledge of finance is your best friend in this journey. There's multiple things that you need to know. The first one is obviously profit. You need to know if your brand is profitable, but the other thing you need to also know if you are importing stock is cash flow. This is one of the most important elements because basically even if your brand is profitable and making money, you may run out of money and you'll need to take on funding or you'll have to declare bankruptcy. The two pieces of documents that your accountant should be creating is a balance sheet and a profit and loss statement. You can then just monitor cash flow closely. Your accountant should be able to create a cash flow statement. However, in the early stages, you should be able to just really understand based on your orders and the cash coming in. To learn accounting, you can just do a daily accounting management course. There's plenty available or you can just watch YouTube videos for free. A common mistake that I see with entrepreneurs is that they don't set up their accounting software quick enough. There's plenty out there. There's Zero. there's Myob. I'll chuck a link in the description. Once you find out your product is profitable, then you wanna to subscribe to these very quickly, link your bank feeds because your accountant is going to be asking for them. One thing that I often see as well is people getting bookkeepers and not understanding how to manage them. If you're getting an outsourced bookkeeper and your business scales lots and you have no accountability checking if they're doing tax properly, that can cause a huge problem for you. It's probably worth getting an accountant in the early stages in your own country. But again, all of these things can be done after you really understand your business is gonna work. We're starting with a really small budget. We need to make sure that we're onto something and then we'll put all those systems in place. One thing that I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of a glossary in the description. This is gonna include a lot of acronyms and terms that you're gonna hear on this e-commerce journey. I really just wanna make sure that you're following along. People use acronyms all the time and it's really important to understand them. 
So a couple of final notes before we get started on this journey. We're not gonna launch multiple products at once. We're just going to go on this learning journey and focus on one product. When I launch a product and find one, do not copy me. That is just one of the main things that I want everyone to understand. And the reason is so many people are gonna copy me. What's gonna happen after I find this product and then I launch it is by the time I do my next episode, there are gonna be hundreds of copies. What that's gonna do is make the auction on Facebook advertising, make this product basically unprofitable. I don't mind, but I just don't want you to invest into a product that is not going to work. I'm just going to show you all the skills that you need to do. And when you launch your dropshipping product, you need to keep it top secret. Don't share your confidential data like your Facebook dashboard to anyone else. Launch this product, keep it to yourself, enjoy the journey until that you're so successful that you can shout it from the rooftops and then help other people. In business, you need to be ready to fail. I have failed so many startups before I got started in e-commerce. The truth is it only needs to work once and your life will be changed. So just keep learning through that failure. Don't get discouraged and eventually you will make it. For those people coming along this journey, I'm gonna create a Facebook group. Sign up and we're gonna post all of our tips there as well. I'm gonna let you guys share and answer each other's questions. We're gonna build a free community so that nobody gets left behind. I'm so pumped to get started. I hope we can create a really fun brand and teach you a ton along the way. So make sure you're tuning in every Sunday when I drop these videos. Put that notification bell on and let's get into it.